Yeesh, the damage here sure is serious. What kind of monster would the culprit have to be to pull off something like this? Stop right there, Magician of the Stars. The one who dropped the star must have been you. Oh, well, yeesh, you're cute. Am I? I'm an urbanite, though, so I can't stand how sheep smell. Also, I'm not the one who dropped that star. Although, I do want to get some power like that real quick. Oh, you're not the culprit, but you're still not getting away. Anyone who tells a lady smell must be punished. Have you heard about how you get sleepy when you catch sheep? By the time you wake up, it's already be Lil's turn for you. Why? Well, I can't believe there are humans who don't get sleepy from seeing sheep. Thanks for the hint. Because you said that, I didn't count them. I'm bleeding. The blood of this poor lamb stains the water. Hey, whoa, the river and the lake really did turn red. The water surface looks like wine. Just looking at it makes me want to drink some western booze. Shall we make a toast? Wine is the blood of a saint, so we vampires just love it too. Then quit sucking blood. Just drinking wine should be okay, right? I do drink it. What? I don't drink people's blood. How should I put it? The bloody smell is intolerable. That's nice. You ought to go tell Remillion and company to do that too. This is a bit off topic from all that stuff, but I'm just going to have you put the lake back to normal now. You think that vampires can do anything in running water? I'm going to cool your head a little and have you gain normal thoughts. Oh, a vampire being defeated by a human. I can't think of this as normal at all. If vampires that didn't drink blood were as strong as normal, it could cause an energy revolution. Anyway, the stars in the sky and the red water have nothing to do with us, so why not have an expert on those stars tell you about those stars? I can't really say that's me. Ah, the pain of fellow novices. More than astronomers tend to lack high places. That person I saw before looked pretty shady. Hmm, are you searching for me? I see it. You are here in anticipation of my star reading. Can you divine my future right now? Yes, yes. You will live to be 97, become wrinkled, and die. If you give me a half big number like that, I have to take it with a grain of salt. T'was a joke. Rather, you are a magician, so perhaps it would be better to say you would live forever. I have but one warning. Humans without any hobbies should not become magicians. And what are your hobbies? I've been reading stars for 2,000 years straight. I may look like this, but I am very devoted. I see. Kind of sad that you got such few hobbies. I said I had but one warning, but that was a lie. One more warning. Mocking people's nerdy interests will land you in a world of hurt. Hey, look, now I'm the one in a world of hurt. So, what was that star that fell into the forest? It was an omen of an awe-inspiring person's appearance. This is no time to play around like this. I must prepare a gift and go to the mountaintop. Haha, <laughs> I just heard something great. Are you going to bless them as well? What a good attitude. I'll go defeat that person and the gift will be mine. And so the incident will be resolved. You sure that's enough done, Maku? So now, is an Oni gonna come out, or a snake? And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon. What? A dragon? Where? Where? Well then, simply cast thy gaze aside. If thou art eaten, thou should understand who it is. Ack, I'm not someone you could just eat. Well, yes, thou do seem rather sharp. Hey, good to hear. A woman clothed with stars had appeared. Hmm. It seems that this disgusting prophecy meant to bind me has at least been unleashed. However, I will not allow that. I hid my identity and went to the east, saving up my power in preparation for this time. What the? You're not one of the eight million Shinto gods! I have masqueraded as a scar star god of theirs, yes, but that ends here. Amongst the eight million gods, if those who could match me were at least numer numerous enough to count with the fingers on both hands, it would be nice. I'm pretty strong. Be careful not to let any important fingers get broken. The pole star is Venus, the morning star that illuminates darkness, and an overpowering light brings all to ruin. Oh, human who can do nothing but imitate the stars, know how foolish it is to bear thy fangs against them. Ugh, if one such as I were to get serious, Gensokyo would be in a dire situation. That was dicey. I didn't really think you were that strong. Un upon closer expansion, Thou art not the woman of the prophecy. It seems what a waste of effort that was. I told you, I'm just an ordinary magician. Thou did not. I told you just now. If thou art an unrelated human, leave. The prophecy being unleashed means that those who hunt for me will soon appear. If I were seriously to fight with them, the entire region would not suffer lightly. Are there more people that powerful? I'll be damned if I let that happen. Ah oh, yes, humans are foolish no matter how many years pass. Don't cause me too much worry now. She has broken through the first defensive line.
Shoot her, shoot her, fire at will. Don't let Satan's fingers slip through. She's broken through the final defensive line. Is she a monster? I can't watch anymore. I'm going in. It's so bright, I can't stand it. Who are all these shining white clothes people? Repent, for the land of God is close. On the day of the end, man stands before God. Is this your first time here? Gensoki has been a land of the gods since the start. Ah, uh, I see. For the humans of this land, I need not convey the Heavenly Father as simply God. Deus believes all. Deus forgives even all sinners. Oh, so you're missionaries to boot? I've got one of your old treading pictures here. Oh, you're practicing your faith every day. How wonderful. I hate it when it's hot out, so it feels great to step on it barefoot in the summertime. Why, you? Uh, um, I mean, it's called a treading picture and all because the treading part's supposed to be a tray up. But well, all right, very soon. The final battle will begin as written in this prophecy. We angels must take responsibility and protect you people of Gensokyo. Oh yeah, then do that. Us dainty young girls ought to be protected. However, you are sinful and cannot be saved that easily. Before ascending to heaven, burn your sins away in the fires of purgatory. How do I say this? Your sins have, shall we say, tossed these divine flames aside. I hate it when it's hot out. Give me an indulgence or something. Hmm, the forest flames have been extinguished and the red water has returned to normal. Don't tell me you've overturned that prophecy. This is getting so cute. I beat the boss like always, so the incident's over, that's all. I do not at all get what you're, huh? The mountain top is shining. Don't tell me this is... I guess that's how it is. There's one last big one up left, up there, like always. Uh, Miss Marissa, what's going on? There are master spikes shooting up from the Wind God's Lake. Doing this right on our mountain, ugh, I'll never forgive this. That morning star is shining so bright up there. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Even my body feels hot now. Repent, for it is done. To the thirsty, I will give freely from the trip fountain of life. Oh, is the final boss a water type? You don't see that too often. It feels refreshing. Indeed, I am a fisher of men. I fish for men, not with nuts and bait, but with forgiveness. Even really sinful men who the Yama and the angels gave up on, I'm going to be forgiven now. All humans, starting from Adam and Eve and continuing to all those born in the future, I give forgiveness to them all, and so I am forever bleeding. Have you not seen this figure before? The saint was crucified on the cross. Looks more like humanity started using the decimal system. But you'll forgive that too, right? I forgive the fact that you have not repented despite being forgiven. What the? If the, even the bad people get saved, isn't it okay to just do constantly evil? Ah, oh, how people try on the heart of my father. It breaks my heart with grief. Father, what of this sin? Do not charge them with it. Why do all you big shot types go around taking everything so seriously like this? Miko told me, it's only natural for people to have ten desires. So isn't it okay to live true to those desires? And my desires are being used by you, right? I bet you're using them for some strange spell. This woman's sin is greed. Ah, uh, a child of man has at least taken the hand of sin and become foolish. All who draw the sword will die by the sword. I'm not scared. In Gensokyo, we have the best doctor in the universe. It is not the healthy who need a doctor. I have come not to lead the righteousness to repentance, but the sinners. I've got no idea why, but those angels gave me a huge scolding. I'm never going to play around with prophecy books again. So from today on, you'll be the toy I play with. I came to investigate that fallen star. How about we have a brief match in lieu of such salutations? You say that almost no stars are visible during daytime, and so you say I would be weakened? Laughable. Any star bright enough to be visible for during the day would have to be a star of the first magnitude. Ha ha ha! Where there's meteors, there's rare metals. And when there's rare metals, there's catalysts for high-level magic. Now, I gotta finish this work before Raymond gets here. Get away from there. The one over there is a gentle soul who truly loves greenery. He's finally been freed from the cold, dark underworld, and has come to this world of water, greenery, and sunlight. What? Am I dreaming or something? This small fry is suddenly saying something complicated. Well, whatever. Time to shoot her down quick and snap up the rare metals. My, my. Smell these herbs and calm down, will you? This whole area is a carpet of mint blooming due to my power. There's no escape. What? 
suddenly feel real calm all of a sudden. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is nothing like Danmaku. People worship that star here as Hades, making a ruckus about him being the ninth planet. That's just an old story by now, though. He's at least been forgotten by all humanity, and can live a peaceful life in Gensokyo. And now I, too, can be by his side. I won't let you get out in my way. Hey, are you listening? Ma, I'm oh, sorry there, I wasn't listening. I guess your powers are doing something to my head. I used some magic medicine I brought just in case this happened, knocked myself out with it, then rebooted. You must be a professional warrior. It's quite unfortunate for you, however. The opponent in front of you isn't just some small fight fairy. Your technique just now pretty much told me that. If it's come to this, I can't cut corners with lasers I won't hurt you if they hit you. Leave us alone already, you greedy human. In this charred forest, even all the magic mushrooms are covered in by mint. And thus, this place will become our final home. I lost to a human? Perhaps I've grown too old. But compared to the princess's wrath, those attacks are still lukewarm. I don't know my own stories very well, but I at least know that a woman's passion can be really scary. This star is the last dwelling place that Lord Hades has left. Please don't take it away from us just because of your greed. It's impossible to suppress a person's ten desires. If you push them down, they'll spring up in some other way. Those common mint plants you got there seem like they'd be pretty useful for some stuff. Feel free to take as much as you like. Thanks, what's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. Man, there's a lot more mint around here now. Even just a little bit is enough for me. Well, see you later, Miss Strong Fairy. Do your best to live quietly so you don't catch Raymond's attention. That was the first human I've met who had such an extensive knowledge of the uses of plants. However, you've made a fatal mistake because of that confidence. My propagative power as the ancestor of all mint makes regular Japanese peppermint look like child's play. Thank you. You're going to you're all going to cover against Tokyo and Greenery, and I won't even have to lift a finger. We'll be together this time, Lord Hades. <laughs>